Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Khadija. Um, today I have a hair tutorial for you guys. Um, I posted a video, I think it's going to be my thumbnail, and this girl DM'd me and was like, can we get a hair tutorial? And I was like, sure, why not? So today I have a hair tutorial for you guys, and I do have a sew-in in. Um, I got this hair from... I think her, I'm gonna butcher her name, but I think it's Takara Miller. Um, she's on Instagram. She's an Atlanta based hairstylist and she sells her own hair. And I got this hair, I think, I believe it was December of last year, and it's still rocking. Like, this has got to be hands down the best hair. And I've had my fair share of weaves, and it's it's been mostly like AliExpress hair. Um, yeah, mostly that, but this hair right here, oh my god. I mean, y'all can see it on camera. I don't have to say anything. But to tell you about the specs, I think I'm going to put it on the screen, but I got a 220 inches, um, 18 inch, and then I think later on I went, on, I went and ordered a 16 inch because I really like full hair, and this is a lot of hair, and I still went in and cut layers into it. And honestly, I just did the, I don't know if it's TikTok or YouTube that started it, but like you part your hair, like, and you put, and you bring it in front of your face and you tie it up with a, a scrunchie or whatever and you cut layers into it. That's how I did it. If I find the video, I will insert it or link it, but that's how I did it. Um, and it turned out really good. Now my hair. So this is a U-part wig that I made myself and I just pretty much every two weeks I take it down. I like wash my hair, you know, condition and do all that and refresh the braids. Like I redo my braids and I sew it back down. Maybe in another tutorial I'll show you guys how to do that. Actually I'm thinking about getting more hair so that I can, um, <clears throat> geez my voice is cracking. So that I can make a, a side part U part wig. Because I try to use the same wig as a side part and it just looked weird. It doesn't look good. So yeah, um, this hair is really beautiful. It will last you forever. I feel like this hair, unless like I decide to throw it away. And I take a pretty good care of my hair. Even the AliExpress hairs that I used to buy. Like I've had them for like, you know, months on end. Like probably six months to eight eight months was the longest I've kept one and this one I feel like it's gonna like last me forever I got it in December of 2020 and now it's what mm, we're in September so yeah this hair is the bomb and this is not the natural texture it's like a a natural um wavy texture after you wash it um I just wash my hair I don't feel I'm not washing this again and I have, I do have leave out, my edges are not, like, they're broken as hell, and I'm trying to grow them back, so I'm trying not to put heat on my hair, as, like, I try to stretch it out as long as I can, and I do use, um, what is it called, leave-in conditioner, and also I do use heat protectant on my leave out, but that's the specs on the hair, um, and I did manage to fit all four bundles and her bundles are not scampy they're thick like the hair is just it does what it needs to do and it blends with um what is it called natural like relax um black people hair oh I don't have my ring on this is weird <laughs> I put lotion on and I forgot to put it back on but anywho let's get into the reason why we're in this video let me stop talking but um, for the video, all you're going to need is your curling wand. I think this is a, I want to say a one inch barrel, and this is a random barrel. I don't, the brand, all of it has been scratched off. I picked up from the beauty supply store. This was years ago, I want to say when I was in high school. And I just, like, when I would wear my natural hair out, um, this wand was big enough to, like, do my natural hair. And also when I wanted curls in my weave it was like it did it for me and <clears throat> i think the brand was conair but anywho i can't remember um you're gonna need a brush of your choice whichever brush you like to use 
um and if you this is optional if you like to do your edges i just got into the edge wave when i first got i got a sew in um by this hairdresser i used to go to when i was in raleigh and like he was the first person that did my edges and i was like "Ooh, this is nice and ever since then i've been doing my edges and i used the um easy edges um edge control i use this and an edge brush and a rat tail comb for like parting and you know combing it out so what you're going to start by doing is parting your hair down the middle um like so and i take this section from like where my um layers begin so you're gonna take that section and i just like bring it forward i probably should grab a hair scrunchie thought i did i do have one okay so you're gonna take this top section and you're just gonna probably should have grabbed clips but whoever whatever this works you're gonna take that and you're gonna take this back section grab about a hmm, i would say like a two inch section like so it's probably like three inches but like a hefty amount because our wand is smaller we want i want like medium sized curls and i don't like my curls too tight i like them looser so what you're gonna do since your work i am right-handed and i'm working on the opposite side so i'm gonna take my wand point it downwards if i want if you want your curls away from your face um you're gonna take your wand place it behind the hair and if you're right-handed and if you're left-handed you're gonna do the opposite way if you're doing the opposite side of your head this is very confusing but and i hope it makes sense <laughs> but that's all you're gonna do wrap it around it and i wait for about like uh i don't know until like i feel my hair and when i feel the heat coming through i let it go uh it's still not quite warm yet it's getting there though please do not burn yourself if you need to wear a glove do wear it i have been doing this to my hair for forever <laughs> So I know what I'm doing for, well, I'm doing my own hair and I've been doing this for years. So like, I know not to, and I release it into my hand and I squish it a little bit, like to set it in my hand. And then I release and I just kind of flip that back. And what I started doing recently is doing, what is it called? doing the opposite side at the same time because we can because if you think about it your curls are like one side of your head is going to be all set and pretty and the other and you're going to be done with all this side and then you move on to the other side and like like the curls are going to set at different times and you're going to want to like shake them out and this side is going to be all um curled and pretty while this side is like is going to be looser you know what the math is going to math once i'm done and this is gonna look crazy because I should have brought, I should have gotten more scrunchies, but we in this video, so we're gonna make it do what it do. So I top, I sectioned off the top section of this, and I'm just gonna put it to the side like so. And we're gonna do the same thing we did to the other side. So grab a section that's about like two to three inches wide. Take your comb, brush it through, and this time around, since it's on the same side of your head and you want the curls away from your face, what you are going to do is take your wand, um, it's on the same side of your dominant hand. So take your dominant hand with the wand, take the piece of hair with your non-dominant hand, place the wand underneath like so and curl just like that and that's how you get the curls away from your face and I've been there where like I'm like wait which way should I like place my hand like 
this has been me doing this for years and like I figured out like maneuvered ways of doing this so you're gonna curl it away from your face so that way you won't get a curl that's towards your face like one side of your curl one side of your head is towards your face and the other side is like away from your face and you're like how do I get it to do it the other way this is the way this is how you're gonna do it and we're gonna let that okay so I'm gonna do like a couple more so one on each side and then we're gonna speed this through so that's how that curl is gonna look you're gonna take that back and you're gonna move on to the other side we're gonna take our rat tail comb brush it through Again, since we're doing the opposite side of our dominant hand, the curling one is going to go behind. Since we want the curls away from our face. And again, I just kind of, like I feel the hair on top of the wand. And if I feel the heat coming through, like if I, if I feel the warmth coming through, that's when I release. Again, be safe about this. I have done this for years, so wear a glove, a heating, I mean, a heat protective glove if you need to. I believe they do sell them at um, beauty supply store, and if I can find them on Amazon, I will link it down below. Okay, I feel like that curl is done also. I'm going to let it sit on my hand for a second and release. And I'm just gonna flip that back too. All right, I'm gonna do one more curl on this side and then I'm gonna speed this through until we get to the top and I'll show you how to, um, I do the top portion. Okay, we're done with that curl. Um, actually, I'm gonna curl the rest of this and I'll be back. All right guys, so we're done curling the bottom part of our hair. So now we're gonna move on to curling the top part of our hair. And I'm gonna show you guys real quick how I do this. So I'm just gonna brush out this top section. And I start from the back and I take pretty like decent size sections so like about that much of hair and again this is my dominant hand I'm right-handed I'm curling the left side of my head so I'm gonna take the wand place it behind the hair and I just wrap the hair around the wand like so because I want the curls to be away from my face. And I hold it and I feel the hair on top of the wand. Once I feel the heat coming through, I release. And that's right now. Hold the, hold the curl in my hand. There you go, release. And I do alternative sides so that like the curls can set equally. So now I'm doing my the right side of my head and I am right-handed. I'm gonna show you guys how I do this. So I take the piece of hair and I um, pull the wand downwards and I wrap around like so and this can kind of get tricky with your hand placement and you get an arm workout out of this after you're done <laughs> I'm gonna hold that there I'm gonna tap on top of the hair it's not warm yet hold hold hold
okay. And that's done. Releasing my hand. Squish, squish, squish to let it set. And release. And we're going to move on to this side of our head again. And like I start from my leave out downwards. I brush it through. Again, we want to curl away from our face. So we curl this way. And I'm looking down because my mirror is behind the camera. And I am, I can hardly see. <laughs> I'm not legally blind, but I can hardly see what it is I'm doing. We're going to hold this, and I think it's almost it. I can feel the warmth coming through a little bit. And we're going to release. And the front of my hair, I think I'm going to make this one large curl because although I don't have curtain bangs, I like the curtain bangs effect and how you achieve that with long <laughs> bangs is you're going to place your curling wand like so and you're going to wrap it. Because if you, okay, let's say you were to do this. Like it's not, your curls are going to be towards your face and it's not going to have the curtain bangs effect. So what you are going to do is going to brush it through. And you're going to hold it on like so. And wrap it away from your face. And those little bits that are coming off at the bottom, it's okay. And my natural hair, I'm going to curl in just a second. Let me show you. So we're going to release this. And this is what you get. And my natural hair, I'm going to gather. And I'm going to lightly curl because I don't want to put too much heat on my hair. You're going to just do this. Hold for a second. One, two, three, four, five. Release. And I still give you that same effect. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to gather all this hair, brush it through. Grab my... Um, my leave out and we're just gonna make this into two parts because I don't want the top of my hair to be like super curly that girl and if you curled your hair before because I've been there before I learned like after years of practice and I'm like okay I think I got this down now but if you've curled your hair before and you're like but how come this like bang don't look like the other side like how come the front of my hair on this side don't look like the other side it's because of your technique so if you're on your dominant side never looks like your opposite side of your dominant hand what you're gonna do is place the barrel um pointing downwards and wrap the hair like so so that you can get that curtain i know it's not a curtain bang i probably hear stylists are watching this and they're like that's not a curtain bang whatever 
you're gonna you want that effect of like you got a blowout and your hair is blowing away from your face this is what you do okay you're gonna hold that for a sec and you're gonna release and again my hair has fallen out greatly so we're gonna do what it do <laughs> with these struggle bangs okay so we're done with that i'm gonna unplug my iron okay so this is how it's looking right now and if you hate scraggly curls like me, you're probably watching this, you're like, brush it out, brush it out. But we're not there, there yet. We're going to let it set so that our hard work can, like, you know, last. So, and I don't like using, um, I don't like the way hairspray makes my hair feel, so I don't like using it. But if you do, and I know that they make, like, hairspray that doesn't make your hair feel crunchy, but I just don't like product in my, like, I don't like a lot of product in my hair because I feel like it weighs it down. And I like that effortless, like, you know, hair blowing through the wind, like, it just moves when you move. I like that look. So I'm just going to, like, push my hair back and we're going to tackle these edges, even though I can't see what I'm doing. So if you're watching this and my edges look crazy, don't judge me. I'm trying to you know, educate when I can't see. It's very hard. So I take my edge control and I put it on the, the comb end of the edge brush and I just kind of put it through the hair like so. And again, don't judge me. I really can't see what I'm doing. And my glasses, like, whenever I'm filming, I've realized do this, like, weird blue reflectic thing. Reflect. <laughs> Reflective thing that it does. And I just don't, I don't like the way that looks. Oh, God. Another clump right here. So, right now, I am feeling this. And I'm going as, you know. I think it's right, but you know, whatever. So I think the edge control is on there. And what I do, I take the this end to like sh do my shapes and swoops how I like it. And I mainly just do like three swoops or four depending on the day. Right now, I can't see shit, so I'm not gonna get intricate with this. We're gonna just, you know, we just want something laid. So it's not gonna be intricate or... And I think after I'm done here, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and fix this, because I, when I say I can't see anything, I mean I can't see anything. <laughs> Um, and then I take the brush end of it and I just go over it one more time. This is to like get any of the, if there's any white cast, it sometimes helps remove it. And I get my sideburns a little bit. Okay, now to the fun part. So, I'm gonna flip our hair and feel your hair. Like, does it still feel warm? If it's like completely cool, then you're ready to like do this part. So what I do is just take my finger through it, like so first. Get the curls fluffy and this is the part where I like assess and I'm like oh this curl looks a little too straight and I'll go back and wand it 
And I think all of them, from the fact that I can't see, I think all of them look pretty okay. I think. Okay, and that's all she wrote. Um, this is the finish look, and again, if my edges don't look right, I can't see what I'm doing. Um, I need to get close up to a mirror that so I can see what I'm doing. Just use the hair type in my lash. But yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you've learned something, and I hope my explanations were clear enough. <laughs> But yeah, this hair is really beautiful. Um, she is a cute coin, a pretty penny, okay? But it's gonna last you. So imagine, cause my hair, when I used the hair I used to buy, let's say I get three bundles. It was like always two something, like two fifty to like that two, between two fifty to two ninety. And you buy that hair, and even if like I get, take great care of my hair, let's say it lasts me six months, okay? In a year, I'm spending like close to 500 in hair, okay? Instead of like just saving that money and spending on hair that might cost you four, 400 plus or let's say 500, but it's gonna last you forever. Like you can get sewings on top of sewings on top of sewings on top of sewings with this. And it would, and if you make a U part wig, that's even better because you're. The ends are, I mean, the weft part of the hair is sealed and you can just, like, you can just keep reusing it forever and ever. And it's just, like, it doesn't tangle, it doesn't mat up. Like, this, like, the nape area, I remember that always used to be the struggle. Like, you put hair in and, like, that shit just start matting up and I'm just like, ugh. And it does not come this jet black color. I, like... And this is weird. I never, because my hair is like this weird, like, 1B2 color. It used to be like a, a 4, a level 4, but like, as I've gotten older, it's gotten darker. But even now, it's like this weird, ashy brown color, and I don't really like it. And I've never dyed my hair before, but I was like, hmm, I want jet black hair. So, like, what I got, I just got like a, I don't know if it was Carol or Garnier um drugstore color and I just like box dye and I just put it over it and like it just it has so much luster and so much just mm, yeah <laughs> so the hair is giving um uh, I'm gonna stop touching it this is the end of my video thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe it would help my channel a lot we're slowly growing. My videos are slowly getting views, but it'll be really nice if you can share it with someone. Um, if you can like and subscribe, that'll be great. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.